Hey there, guys. Today we're... We're doing what today? I do remember it's a Tuesday. <laughs> I'd like to get you intimately acquainted with this car. We didn't buy this one to beat the shit out of it. I've read too many angry comments from you on this matter. We're gonna give it a little love, but not of the traditional variety. You'll see in due time. In the meantime, I'd like to conduct a little experiment. We've received quite a few requests. I mean, even I remember being a kid and seeing my buddies buy motorcycles and mopeds, drive them home, switch off their engines not being able to fire them up afterwards. Upon taking the motor apart, they'd often find wooden pistons. Anyway, you guessed it. We're gonna tear this motor apart, remove the rods, pay the lathe operator a visit, machine some wooden pistons, install them and go for a ride. Let's do this. What if we make some wooden pistons for our Zhiguli? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. There we go. We've removed the aluminum pistons. Let's go fabricate some wooden ones. To do so, we've purchased a 10 by 10 centimeter piece of ash tree and put it on a lathe. We aligned the piece and proceeded to machine it down. After that, we took some sandpaper to smoothen down the surface. Then we marked out the correct height for our pistons and cut incisions for the compression rings. Then we used a bandsaw to cut the wooden block to pieces. Soon after that we drilled the properly sized holes in the pistons for installing rods. So yeah, guys, we finally finished fabricating our quality lightweight wooden pistons. We did our very best to get them to the right size. We had a guy come in to measure the cylinders. Turns out we will have to sand the pistons down a bit. Luckily, they're made from wood, so that won't be an issue. We'll only be using two piston rings. We've decided not to put in the oil rings. This car isn't going to be doing a lot of driving, so we're gonna allow them to be thoroughly lubricated in order to boost compression. By the way, our neighbor paid us a visit, and after seeing what we're up to, he said, you guys are way overthinking this. Back in my day, I made a few from my motorcycle and left the rings out entirely. All I did was make a wooden piston and throw it in. It started up without any hiccups. He successfully sold it after that, which was the entire point in the first place. Now we get to pressing in the pins, installing the rods, and after that we throw them in the car. Let's get to it. Here we have our piston and a special half sleeve so that the piston doesn't crack. Now we take our pin and carefully use our press to get it inside. It's a tight fit, but I mean, it is what it is. One last thing. We won't be able to use our press to insert the pin all the way. So we'll be using this socket. That's how things go down in the garage. This ain't a repair shop. There we go. This should do the job. I think we did a good job here. The rod seems to be moving without any restriction. Now we'll give the rest of them the same treatment. Here we have four fully assembled pistons. Everything is looking good. It wasn't a matter of 15 minutes. As you can see, things went a bit wrong with the very first one. We tried heating it up a bit. For this one, we decided not to use heat. They're made from sturdy material, but given the extreme pressure, they naturally fell apart. They're still good for firewood, but completely useless for our purposes. So we have one spare wooden piston left. And we've decided to give it away to one of our subscribers, to one of our viewers in general. All you have to do is leave a comment down below. Any comment, doesn't matter. We'll pick a random winner using a special utility. After that, we'll contact you and send out this leftover piston. We'll be holding our giveaway on Saturday the 15th, on our second channel at 1 o'clock in the afternoon Moscow time. Anyway, 
that's all for today. I'll explain why. This exercise took a lot of effort. Obviously, it's compressed into three to four minutes for the video, but as a matter of fact, we've been at it for a full week, and there's still the matter of putting everything together, firing it up, showing you the results, going for a little ride, as well as evaluating the aftermath. So yeah, subscribe, leave some comments, give us a thumbs up, and see you later!